Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to study about mucormycosis and its treatment. We are also going to study about its investigation, clinical feature, risk factor. So, as we all know that there is an ongoing epidemic in our country of mucormycosis. Many states have actually declared it as an epidemic. Some states are yet to declare it. Um, so, it becomes very important as a medico to know about mucormycosis and especially its treatment. So, let's get started. So, what is mucormycosis? See, mucormycosis as many people think that mucormycosis is a disease that is caused by a fungi known as mucormycosis but this is not the fact mucormycosis refers to a group of life threatening infections that is caused by fungi of the order mucorails this word is very important mucorails belonging to the subphylum mucormycotina it is a highly angioinvasive rentlessly progressive and does not follow any anatomical boundaries and uh, it has a very high mortality and morbidity so Coming to the etiology, what causes mucormycosis? As I already told that mucormycosis is caused by fungi of the order mucorails. What is the most common organism uh, that causes mucormycosis? It is Rhizopus oryza. This name is important. As you can see in the list, um, the fifth number organism that is mucor. The mucor, despite its name being mucor, it rarely causes mucormycosis. So this is the etiology of mucormycosis. Etiology of mucormycosis is mainly if you want to remember one name, then it is Rhizopus oryza. Coming to the pathogenesis, uh, mucormycosis is a ubiquitous fungi to which humans are exposed constantly. See, mucormycosis or the fungi spores are present everywhere in our environment, but this doesn't mean that if you inhale a spore of uh, the fungi, then you will definitely have mucormycosis. Uh, mucormycosis generally occurs or happens in patients who are immunosuppressed or have some debilitating condition like diabetes or on glucocorticoid therapy they generally have mucormycosis infection not every patient or not every people who inhale a spore of, uh, of the fungi will get mucormycosis so what are the risk factors that uh, predispose a patient to develop mucormycosis if they inhale a spore of that fungi they are First, diabetic patient, neutropenia, glucocorticoid therapy, phagocytic disorders, phagocytic disorders like Shidia Kegashi syndrome, elevated iron levels, very important, diabetic ketoacidosis, hemopoietic stem cell transplant, malignancy, nosocomial spread, road traffic accidents or natural disasters, transplant patients, especially renal transplant patients, humidified oxygen therapy, COVID infection, and immunosuppression and increased level of zinc. So, as we all know that in this COVID situation, Many patients are actually, most post-COVID patients are actually developing mucormycosis infection. Most probably this is due to use of unified oxygen therapy. COVID infection is itself an immunosuppressive state. COVID infection itself causes increase in the level of ferritin which increases the level of iron which predisposes to COVID, uh, so mucormycosis. And lastly, uh, COVID patients are on glucocorticoid therapy which makes them more prone to infection of mucormycosis now few more things that if left then cause then can cause disaster i think uh, as i said that uh, elevated level of iron is a very important risk factor for mucormycosis so this may uh, this may make you think that uh, if i give deferoxamine which is an iron chelator then it will actually decrease the risk of mucormycosis infection in my patient or if my patient is already having mucormycosis then it may help in curing the patient but but this is not the fact mucormycosis if you give deferoxamine to a mucormycosis patient then it may actually increase the risk of disseminated mucormycosis in him or her because the iron chelator deferoxamine acts as a fungal siderophore which directly transports iron to the fungus and enables its growth even more so deferoxamine is absolutely contraindicated in mucormycosis patients again i'm repeating again deferoxamine is absolutely contraindicated in mucormycosis patients another very important thing that i want to tell that again that uh, you may think that if a patient is receiving antifungal prophylaxis with itraconazole or voriconazole then then maybe then uh, the chance of mucormycosis is less but again this is not the fact if the patient is receiving antifungal therapy through itraconazole or voriconazole, then he is again at a very high risk for disseminated mucormycosis. So, it is very important. Deferoxamine, itraconazole, voriconazole, they don't help. They make the situation even more worse. These two things are very important and you should keep it in mind. So, another very important thing that we all know that uh, 
डायबिटीज कॉजेज म्यूकोर माइकोसिस और डायबिटीज इज अ वेरी हाई रिस्क फैक्टर फॉर म्यूकोर माइकोसिस एवरी टाइम इन दिस कोविड सिचुएशन स्पेशली एवरी टाइम यू ओपन द टी वी देन एवरी एंड यू चेंज द चैनल यू सी अर डॉक्टर सेंग टू मेंटेन द ब्लड ग्लूकोज लेवल इन डायबिटिक पेशेंट आर द डायबिटिक पेशेंट्स आर एट अ वेरी हाई रिस्क फॉर म्यूकोर माइकोसिस सो वॉट एक्चुअली मेक्स दीज डायबिटीज पेशेंट्स मोर प्रोन टू म्यूकोर माइकोसिस देर आर थ्री थिंग्स फर्स्ट इज हाइपरग्लाइजेशन ऑफ द आयरन सिक्वेस्ट्रिंग प्रोटीन डिस्ट्रप्टिंग आयरन सिक्वेस्ट्रेशन सी डायबिटीज कॉजेज हाइपरग्लाइजेशन ऑफ द आयरन सिक्वेस्ट्रिंग प्रोटीन एंड इफ द आयरन सिक्वेस्ट्रिंग प्रोटीन आर हाइपरग्लाइसेटेड देयर फंक्शन इज डिस्ट्रप्टेड एंड इफ द आयरन सिक्वेस्ट्रिंग प्रोटीन आर डिस्ट्रप्टेड दैन आयरन विल नॉट बी सिक्वेस्टेड एंड इवेंचुअली द आयरन लेवल्स इन द ब्लड विल इंक्रीज एंड इफ आयरन लेवल्स ऑफ द ब्लड विल इंक्रीज वी ऑल नो दैट इट इंक्रीजेज द रिस्क ऑफ म्यूकोर माइकोसिस सेकेंड अप रेगुलेशन ऑफ द मेमेरियन मेमेरियन रिसेप्टर्स जी पी आर सेवेंटी एट दैट बाइंड्स टू म्यूको रेल्स इनेबलिंग टिश्यू पेनिट्रेशन दिस इज अ फैक्ट यू हैव टू जस्ट रिमेंबर इट इट अप रेगुलेट्स द रिसेप्टर जी पी आर सेवेंटी एट जस्ट कीप इट इन माइंड इट इज अ फैक्ट नेक्स्ट थिंग फेगोसेटिक डिसफंक्शन डायबिटीज कॉजेज फेगोसेटिक डिसफंक्शन एंड फेगोसेटिक डिसफंक्शन इज अ रिस्क फैक्टर फॉर म्यूकोर माइकोसिस सो दिस इज ऑल्सो दीज आर द थ्री थिंग्स आर द कॉज दैट वाई म्यूकोर माइकोसिस हैपन्स मोर इन डायबिटीज पेशेंट्स now coming to clinical manifestation of mucor mycosis see there are many types of clinical manifestation of mucor mycosis the most common is rhino orbito cerebral disease rhino orbito cerebral disease it is mostly seen most common form is this rhino orbito cerebral disease it involves the nose paranasal sinuses orbit and you know and eventually involves the brain it is seen in diabetes and transplant and steroid therapy patients uh, post covid patients mostly develop this type of disease only what are the clinical features of rhino orbito cerebral form of mucor mycosis it is facial pain eye pain facial numbness conjunctival suffusion blurry vision fever wbc increase facial edema and black necrotic scar due to this black necrotic scar, scar hence this name mucor mycosis if it is left untreated then it can involve the eyes and uh, mucor mycosis this rhino orbito cerebral disease can also cause cavernous sinus thrombosis and how will you know that the caver that it has caused cavernous sinus thrombosis if the contralateral eye is also involved means both eye are involved this means that patient has developed cavernous sinus thrombosis due to mucor mycosis now there are very other types of uh, disease that is caused by mucor mycosis pulmonary disease cutaneous disease gi disease and disseminated mucor mycosis pulmonary is the second most common form i am not going to discuss those it's given on your screen so you can read it just one thing which is very important disseminated mucor mycosis as we have already read that disseminated mucor mycosis is caused due to uh, prophylaxis by itraconazole or voriconazole or if you give uh, deferoxamine to chelate the iron this this uh, then it may cause disseminated mucor mycosis what is the most common location for disseminated mucor mycosis it is brain you have to remember this it is brain and if you develop disseminated mucor mycosis the mortality is 100% which means that if you develop disseminated mucor mycosis then then you won't be able to make it at all